Welcome back, Split Fam and Norvina fans. Today we're doing our second full face look with the Norvina palette. Today we're gonna give you the full face plus my opinion on this new palette, all the feels I've gotten from it, everything I've seen on social media, and just my opinion on how it works, what's going into it, and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for the look. If you don't wanna stay for the look, down below in the description box, I'm gonna give you the timestamp for where you can find my opinion and all my thoughts and comments on this palette for you. Anyways, thanks so much, and I'll see you in a little bit. So here we are just priming our lid with my favorite concealer and blending it out with my finger. I'm using Love right there in my crease and really packing it in and buffing it out just a little bit with my fluffy brush right there. And then we go grab a nice clean um, blending brush just to blend out those edges just a little bit more. To deepen that crease even more, we're going in with passion. We're just patting it directly into the crease, and then we'll use another brush to blend it out later. Blend, 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 blend. Now I tried cutting my crease a new way today, even though we're not cutting the entire crease, we're just doing the center of the eye. Didn't really work for me just because I go so high on my lid already, but I tried. And you should try it too to see if it helps you in the process of learning to cut your crease. But here we are just mapping it out some more, cutting it all out like we always do. Here we are going right back in with passion on either edge and just patting it in gently and then blending the edges in before we add that shimmer to the top. I don't think people realize how much time you spend going back in to put color in and then you blend and then you put the color back in and you blend to get it to the consistently in color that you want it. So here we are finally adding a shimmer and I went in with Wild Child and then later on I go back on and add Dreamer to it just to lighten it a little bit more right in that center piece to give it even more dimension which I really loved when this was all said and done. Here we are again, blending, blending, blending. I take out a lot of the blending time that I spend and adding color back in. You do a ton of it when you want it to look like perfection. And like I told you, here we are adding a dreamer in right along that line and the dead center of that eye just to give it even more dimension. And it really makes you see the shape of the eye. I really, really loved it at the end once the whole look came together. Looking like a raccoon. But hey, the full look will come together once we're done. Bear with me. Again, Makeup Revolution's Pro HD Contour Kit it is a cool contour um, a kit that I like to use because the palette's a little bit more on the cooler tone side, even though my eyes are pretty warm now that I'm looking at the video. <laughs> 
It's okay, we make it all work. It all comes together. I promise. You tell me that you used to no dreaming, but I'm gonna change it. Yeah, I'll take you straight to Wonderland. Cause when my love starts working on you, it'll take your breath away. Like Juvie's Place Blush Palette. And I'm just starting to really use these and test them out. And they are super pigmented, just like their eyeshadows. Let me tell you. Never go wrong with Juvia's face. Never, ever, ever. And they're so affordable. If y'all haven't touched them yet, you really need to. When I saw a colored palette from Anastasia come out, you knew I had to pull out these colored highlights. So there were the Aurora Glow Kit was perfect for this look because there was an orangey glow in there which I thought would be perfect to pull the entire look together. I know it's hard to break through the chains, but I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna reach you. Cause when my So here's the final look. I know I didn't show you guys lashes and lips, but lips are Morphe's Liquid Lip and Sweets with a Shop Miss A Diamond Gloss on top. And I used the Babes, the Foxy Babes lashes because you can never go wrong. I hope you guys really love this look. I love the way it turned out and how every day it looked. But this is the final look, and after you get my final thoughts, thanks so much for hanging. Love you. Palette is the first palette that I've gotten from Anastasia Beverly Hills for eyeshadows that is. I have at least three of the glow kits so far. Um, and I really like the, the glow kits. And so with the first eyeshadow, um, I like the color selection. Um, the shadows are really soft. They're really pigmented and they are super blendable. The shimmers really pop um, for you even without wetting the brush, which is really great. Um, the only thing that I notice with them because generally when you have softer shadows, you have a little bit more fallout with them. Now they blend really easily, which is great, which means you need less work when you're working with them. Um, but like I said, you have fallout and you have a whole lot of fallout. I mean, you saw it in my first video, I had it all over my cheek and I did my foundation first for that video to make the video go a little bit quicker and a little bit smoother for you guys because you guys don't want to sit here for 30 minutes while I'm doing a basic look with a new palette. Um, but as you can see, I don't know if it'll focus for you but um it really falls out really easily with the brush with your finger always tends to fall out um but that's a you if that's something you really like you don't care about or it doesn't matter or it's something you truly hate now i've noticed that some of the more pastel -y colors had more fallout than the darker shades for me like this pink here and this purple really had a ton of fallout but when i got down to eccentric and passion these generally didn't have a ton of fallout at all um those seemed to stick a little bit better and these shimmers they all had a ton of fallout but shimmers are generally a lot softer so you can work with them a lot better um another thing i noticed is you go through instagram and everybody's got tons and tons of bright purple looks that just pop and pop and pop which is not what this palette is about if you look at this palette it is very cool tone it's very muted almost like a it's got a gray hue to it um so when I'm going through and I'm looking up hashtags and I want to see look and get inspiration um, I'm getting looks and they're adding a bunch of stuff to it and when I'm looking at inspo for palette I want to see things that I'm only using these shadows if I'm using a white base okay I don't have to use a purple base to get the purple to pop on these you know what I'm saying because that's not going to give you true color to the eyeshadows in all of my looks I use the concealer base which means it's going to be the color of my skin um, when I do that or a little bit a shade or two lighter nothing crazy.
crazy at all. But just know when I go in to do a look, I'm not putting bases down unless I'm telling you otherwise. I'm doing the video just as I'm showing you without any bases or anything crazy. Um, another thing is, is I don't want to go in adding other products to a look when we're testing our palette. I don't want to use six other palettes or a bunch of different other products. Not adding a liner or some glitter topper to it is one thing, but going in and adding two or three other palettes with other shades doesn't give you the true authenticity of this palette to let you know the blendability, the pigmentation, um, and much about how it's going to work by itself. Because some people like to get a palette and know if they're going to be able to make looks with this palette and if it's going to work solely on its own. So if I'm traveling, I want to know if I can take Norbina, take her with me in my bag, and we're good to go. That way I'm not packing six things. Now as a makeup artist, I'm going to be packing a million things already. So that's just my job and that's what I do. But you can get a bunch of looks out of these. For me, because I'm so used to bigger palettes such as Morphe's palettes, um, using something this size is a little bit more difficult for me because I'm used to having a bigger range and selection, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. You just got to think a little bit outside of the box of what your, your norm is because some people, this is a norm for them. So anyways, when you're out looking for inspiration for these looks, please keep in mind in videos and pictures, look at the products that they're using to find out if it is true product that they are using if they're adding other eyeshadows and stuff like that you can't take that look and expect it to be true to the product and that it's going to actually work that way it's going to perform that way and it's going to look that way i was so disappointed because i saw all these bright purple looks i'm just like come on guys like it was just don't do that you know what i'm saying i don't usually don't go get reviews and look at other videos before I buy a product. If it catches my eye, I'm going to go buy that product and form my own opinion around it, especially when I haven't tried a brand yet. Um, with certain other products, depending on what it is, I'm going to go watch a review first or see what's going on with it, but I generally don't. Um, it's just not my thing. I don't usually get into the drama and the tea. I like to form my own opinions and everything like that, and we can discuss it. On the other end, if there's drama going in, and it connects in some way that's another story um so anyways that is my opinion that is how we handle things over here just so you guys know for future reference but this is the novena palette i do like her it's a little bit different than i expected but she is dope i do like it i will be buying more anastasia beverly hills products um especially eyeshadow palettes i need to get a couple more for sure um, anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. If you love this video, please give it a, a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for what you liked the best. And if you are not a part of the Split Fan, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of our tutorials. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.